We're going to go back to our form letter and take a look at some of the advanced options in doing a mail merge. One thing you might want to do when you're printing letters or labels or envelopes is sort the information so that the letters print out in order of zip code or in order of last name. Let's say we wanted to sort this merge by zip code. I'm going to choose this edit recipient list button and then I've got some options here for refining and one of the things I want to do is sort. So I'll choose sort. So here I can say okay sort by zip code. You can add a secondary criteria if you want. Maybe wanna, we want to sort first by zip code and then by last name. I can put that in there. Click OK and OK again. So now when we actually finish our merge document it'll have all the letters in order of zip code. We can also filter our recipients. Let's say we want to send letters just to students in Massachusetts. Again I'll go to edit recipient list and this time I'll choose filter. For the field I'm going to choose state equal to and then I'll put MA for Massachusetts. When you're typing this in you do want to make sure that whatever you're typing does exactly match what's in your spreadsheet. But I can click OK. Here we can see that it now narrowed it down to three. We only have three students from Massachusetts. So I'll say OK. And now if I finish this to a new document, I'm just going to have three letters to those students from Massachusetts. If I want to get rid of that filter, if I want to go back to seeing everyone, I can go back to the edit recipient list, filter, and clear all. And then just hit OK. I can also add wording to my letter that changes depending on a certain criteria in an either or kind of way. Let's say that I want students in the Merrill dorm to call one person if they have a question and students in Dakin to call someone else. I'm going to remove this wording here and I'm going to insert a rule which is if then else and here it's going to ask me how I want to set it up. So I want to say that if a student's dorm is equal to Dakin, I want them to call Joe Schmo, and I want everyone else to call Jane Smith. You can only add two different values, but in this case that's fine, so I'll say OK. And so now, if I preview through, I can scroll through the different records here. I can see that the Merrill students all have Jane Smith and the Dakin students have Joe Schmo.